Hello VC, hello everyone. And uh, yeah, today is uh, the first chapter in my history with music. I attempted to film this video last week, but it was rubbish. So I thought I would attempt um, this one, and hopefully it'll go right. So yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, this is the early years, so we're going from around 2000 to 2009. Okay, go, okie dokie. Right then. So, what I remember from music wise, I think the first piece of music I ever had was, um, and it was a, a Disney compilation cassette. I used to listen to that quite a lot. I don't remember any of the songs on it, really. But I remember they were quite they were good Disney or songs, I think. Uh, the only one I really remember is Never Had a Friend Like Me from Aladdin, surprisingly. So, yeah. And, um, you know. But really, I heard music around. I picked up a lot of stuff, you know, throughout the early 2000s. The pop charts and some of the rock stuff. You know, I'd hear it and this and that and, you know. I don't really want to brag on about a lot of them. So, you know, we'll just kind of skip a bit. So, I remember first being aware of, like, a music video around 2005. And then it was The Gorillas and the Damon Albarn side, side project. And um, it was the song Feel Good Inc. And it was the music video. I think I saw that once in one morning and thought, hmm, what's this, Dad? I don't know. <laughs> so that was quite interesting. And I actually do um, always remember, like, really liking that song. And uh, later, as I got older, the Demon Days album, which is a really good album. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so we're on. Um, so now we're going to um, skip a few years. So we're going to go out to 2007 now. So around then, um, I'd started really um, watching the Bond films, the James Bond films, and um, I really um, liked some of the songs, kind of. I mean, Diamonds Are Forever was alright, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, and that was actually the first Bond film I watched, and my mother recommended. Watch that. Alright. Um, so, Live and Let Die came on, and I really liked Live and Let Die. I'll always remember hearing Live and Let Die, I mean, wow, that's a really good song. And as I got older, like, the months went by, and I really did like that song and my dad said to me oh um he's in the he was in a band called the Beatles oh was he okay I've never heard of them <laughs> I've never heard of the Beatles and uh, the other Paul McCartney song I heard was um maybe I'm amazed it was in an episode of the Simpsons so I heard that one as well I was kind of like maybe queuing in a bit to who they were but I didn't really think at that point and um yeah wasn't really, you know, wasn't really thinking about music. Um, but I liked, I was picking up bits by this point. And so then around, um, so around 2008 now, I'd say, I was learning more about the Beatles. Uh, learning that John Lennon was in the group. I remember um, I had a John Lennon CD, which came from the newspaper, and I uh, used to listen to um, Power of the People was always a good one. And the one I always used to hear at Christmas time, um, War Is Over which is a classic Christmas song. And so then, um, so we're on 2008 now, another band I really I remember at this time I was really into, and um, because my dad had the album, was The Killers. And um, I used to listen to a lot of their stuff on the iPod, which we used to have. Um, but yeah, they were really good, and this was the album. I, I always remember the single Human coming out. I loved the sound of it. It had that great space type sound. I really liked that sound. And I think it was that connection, that sound made me think, okay, that kind of led me onto the direction of where I'd go in the future with my taste in music and what I liked. But I really do like the killer still to this day, I really do like them. Um, and then, yeah. And another artist who I will definitely, absolutely admit that, um, um, that I uh, really, I kind of like, quite liked for a while during my younger years was ABBA. <laughs> um, I wasn't, I'm not, I don't like ABBA anymore. Um, I really liked them because the Mamma Mia movie was coming out. And another band, of course, I had Pierce Brosnan in it, who I kind of liked at the time. But uh, yeah. And again, um, with the Bond films, I think they did kind of help me with other parts of music. For example, um, you know, as I heard the later ones, um, so sort of Duran Duran, View to Kill, Blue Day Asked by a Heart, I Skilled by Night, I really loved them songs as well. Tom Jones Thunderball. There's tons of them. I could go on about them all day, you know. If, if we were to do a Bond video, we could go, I could go on here all day, but I'm not. 
so then 2009, I remember for Christmas 2008 my mother had gotten some George Michael, George Michael compilation. And so around like the beginning of 2009 I really started listening to it. And it's the 25 compilation. Um, so, yeah, I really liked it. It, had, um, it has a Paul McKay, it's alright, it's um, Heal the Pain. A re-recording with Paul McKay, because it was originally a solo track I believe. But uh, this was a really good compilation. I mean, I always loved the Wham. I mean, I was really like the Wham stuff. I really loved the Wham stuff because we had a DVD um, set as well, which I did with all the videos I used to watch. All the Wham ones um, and um, a lot of the Faith ones and the Dumbest Thing Ever Me. So I was really getting into stuff like this. But again, music was kind of um, was kind of a big thing, a deal. And then also around um, 2009. So then, of course, because I like the Beatles, I asked my dad. Um, of course, uh, you know, late home, so you know, I listen to Beatles and, you know, I listen to Beatles, and, you know, um, another thing that really took me by surprise in 2009 was the Brit Awards, when, lo and behold, I always remember it going, what was that, Mum? And it was Pet Shop Boys doing their medley, and they came on and did a song, they did like a big medley, um, Brandon Flowers did It's a Sin with them, Lady Gaga did Well, I Don't Deserve This. It's like, you know, what the hell was that, you know? <laughs> um, so I really um, was, like, confused by this band. And they were over, they were all over the place at this point. They were very much becoming this thing that I was being aware of, like, Pet Shop Boys, you know, who are these? You know, it's that wondering thing. Because uh, they, the, they were on the one show, and like, oh, who are they? Who are these people? And, um, you know... Um, just that. But then, a while later, for my birthday, I got Abbey Road on CD. Um, I asked my dad, remember the morning, saying, Dad, can you get me a Beatles CD for my birthday, please? Yeah. Definitely came over with this, and it's always been a favourite of mine. Love it. Um, and then, another kind of event I always remember happening that year was um, Michael Jackson coming back into the meet the spotlight when he um, announced his this is it to her. And then of course late while later, I remember I remember being quite shocked when I heard he passed away. It wasn't a shocking thing. And then the music stations at the time. I can't I think mine was called The Hits. Or it might something like that. It was a TV station on the Freeview channel and on Freeview. And um, you know, play MJ songs. I really liked them. So I really did like a lot of Michael Jackson stuff for a bit. But really, I was kind of moving back and forth with music. I was getting into music and getting out of it. I was very much a young, young boy, and I, of course, you know, didn't kind of know what my, my myself was in certain ways. So you know, but then you know, so the end of two thousand nine, I'm thinking, you know, maybe it's time to discover some more stuff, and that's where we're leaving off for today. Uh, thank you very much VC, um, stay tuned for the next video where we go on from 2010 to the end of 2011. So, thank you for watching, bye bye for now.